fellow friends as the Funky Play Brothers. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. And today, I'm reading chapter 15 and 16 of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. And I can watch the movie on Peacock. Oh, wait, I mean Paramount Plus. Not Peacock. Now let's read chapter 15 and 16. <laughs> chapter 15. When the turtles came back out of their living quarters into the sewer tunnels, April was waiting for them. She could see that they were upset. Hey, uh, everything okay, she asked. The brothers kept walking past her, still thinking about how they would just received their father, their father at the very moment when he was trying to reach out to them. Yeah, wait. Deceive their father at the very moment he was trying to reach out of, to them. Yeah, Leo said. I'm fine, Donnie said, added. They paused and looked at each other. Are we still sure we're doing the right thing, Mikey asked. Leo sighed, Dad. Dad'll come around if he doesn't. After tonight, it won't matter. And now, they headed down the tunnel, still feeling uneasy about their decision. April hurried after them, knowing something was up. Having successfully switched places with Bad Benny's gang, the turtles drove the van with the S assimilator in it to the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bridge to meet up with Soupfly. Donnie took the wheel, easily navigating the streets and parking the van. Raph was impressed. You're actually good at driving, Donnie. Countless hours of playing car chase video games have finally paid off, John. Donnie grinned. <laughs> Nearby April was filming everything wearing a headset. She spoke to the brothers through their earpieces. Hey guys. Leo spoke into his mic. Uh, hello, April, you there? Yeah, I got you. She said, now just remember this footage will be the definite imagery of your existence, so don't make it lame or anything. We would have try really... We would have to try really hard to do that, Leo said. Donnie pointed out the windshield. Here he comes. Chapter 16. As Chapter 16. As the turtles watched through the windows of the van, two awesome cars and a motorcycle slowly approached the meeting point with sleek designs, huge engines, and gleaming colorful costumes. Paint jobs. The vehicles were built to impress, but they succeeded. And they succeeded. Look at those cars. And that bike, Mikey said, his eyes practically popped out of his head. This guy is super fly. He's got some swa swagger to him. Raph gushed. The horsepower must be crazy, Donnie marvel marveled. Mikey shook his head slowly in admiration. Look at those rims, bro. Leo did a quick calculation. All right, guys. There two cars, a motorcycle. That means 15 guys tops. This is going to be a piece of cake, smacking one fist into his palm in happy anticipation. Raph said, oh man, they're going to be so scared when they see they are about to roll up with a bunch of mutants. Ha! One of the car doors opened. A massive dark figure emerged as he stepped onto the ground, taking his weight off the vehicle. The car rose. The figure stepped into the light of a street lamp and the turtles could see what they he that he was a big heavily muscled war war warthog man sporting pink hair warthog man sporting pink hair shades a nose ring and a sleeveless vest that put his bulging biceps on display the dude was definitely intimidating and that is bebop
through the turtles didn't know yet. His name was Bebop! Uh, Raph said, leaving his mouth open, stunned by the sight of the guy. Oh, I'm so going to, to win a daytime Emmy, April said into her ear earpiece. Bebop held up uh, an old boombox and hit play, a song with the words, I know I'm super fly blasted into the air. What do we do, Leo? Mikey squeaked. Uh, Leo hasted. I don't know. Alpha formation, Raph suggested. Suggested. Donnie turned it on him. You're not the leader. You don't even know what alpha formation is. Another car door opened and Monster's foot appeared as a creature climbed out of the car. It stood in the streets and the turtle saw a giant claw, antenna, antenna, weird hands, huge wings, mom, which had a large chunk missing from all these features were put together and they added up to a hulking, terrifying fly man. Super fly! More, more car doors opened and the rest of Superfly's crew emerged. Ray Fillet, a manta ray man. Genesis Frog, a frogman. Leather, Leatherhead! A crocodile woman. Locksteady, a rhinoceros man. Mondo Gecko, a skateboarder lizard. Wing, wing nut, a bat woman. And... Scumbug, a cockroach woman. Joining Bebop, they lined up behind Superfly facing the van. Yo, Superfly yelled at the guys in the van. Come on, y'all, let's get the goods. Crack, Superfly tore the front of the van right off, including its windshield, revealing the four turtles inside. Ah, they screamed. Yo, Superfly said surprised. Ah, the turtles screamed again. Superfly was shocked that what he saw. What, what, y'all, some little tortoises? Uh, look at you. You're all adorable, man. He called back to his crew. Bad Bernie's got some turtles on the payroll. Leo spoke up. No, we don't work for Bad Bernie. We're, we're here to find you. Donnie was gapping at the creatures who had climbed out of the flashy car. I can't believe they're all are all their mutants like us? Superfly shook his grotesque head in disbelief. This is wild, let me guess. Like 15 year old, some sludge was dumped in the sewers and y'all came from that, am I right? Nodding Raph said we prefer the term ooze, but yeah. It, it just sounds better, Leo added. Ooze just rolled off the tongue better, Raph said. Ooze, the four turtles said in unison. Ooze. It's nice, right? Leo said. It's ooze. Ooze, Superfly said, drawing out the words as though it tasted good in his fly mouth. I like that. I like ooze. So look, look, look. The same ooze made me, my dad, back to Stockman. Is the one who dumped that ooze down the drain. So technically, we're cousins. <laughs> what? What up, cuz? That's awesome, man, Raph enthusiast. Enthusies, enthusiast, enthusiastically. The turtles climbed out of what was left of the van and took a step closer, getting a better look at Superfly and his crew. Well, Mikey claimed happily, I've always wanted a cousin. Well, look at you now. You got a bunch, Superfly laughed. Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't introduce my peeps. He turned to the line of mutants and pointed at each one as he said their names. This is Bebop and Roxy. What's going on, Roxy asked. Nice to meet you. A pleasure, Bebop said. Right here we got Wing Wingnut, Superfly said, counting with his his introductions. Hi, Wingnut said. Do I have, what, do I wave my wings or my hand? I'll just wave both. Am I doing it right? She waved, but bumped into Bebop. Sorry, sorry. We got Ray Fillet, Superfly said, pointing to the manta ray mutant. Ray Fillet, the fish man shouted, lifting his arms in triumph. Leatherhead, Superfly went on. G-Day fellas, the crocodile woman said in her Australian, Australian accent. 
Nice to meet ye a lot. Genesis Frog Superfly said, Oh, look at the little jacket, Mikey cried, pointing. Gucci, Gucci, Goo? Raph said as if he were talking to a cute little baby. Superfly pointed at the cockroach woman. That's Scumbug. She only speaks vermin, making a chittering sound. Scumbug waved at the turtles. They waved back a little uncertainty. And finally, Mondo Gecko, Superfly said, pointing at the lizard man, moving in for a huge, the spacey hippie. The spacey hippie greeted the turtles. What's up, bros? I'm a hugger. Get in here, he hugged Mikey. You seem cool, Mikey said. I like your vibe. I like your vibe, Mondo Gecko said right back at him. I like your vibe, Mikey repeated. I like your vibe, Mondo Gecko said. I like your vibe, Mikey said. Digging your vibe, Mondo Gecko said, changing things up just a little. I like your vibe, Mikey said, drawing out the last word. Shh, Leo interrupted, remembering why we're here, the plan, April's story. Oh yeah, Mikey said, remembering. And that's the end of chapter 15 and 16. So, it introduced Superfly, Bebop, Rocksteady, Mondo Gecko, uh, uh, and Superfly. <laughs> I can't remember the rest of their names. So, friends, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter, The Funky Play Bros. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok, The Funky Play Brothers. Support our vlog at Cash App, the dollar sign Funky Play Bros. So, yeah, more unboxings, more taste tests, more adventures, more monies, and for support. Thanks for watching. Bye.